Yo, what up, everybody? All right, we're going to go ahead and do our uh, 2021 Contenders Baseball Hobby Box War. Everyone's going to get assigned a random pack. Whoever has the lowest numbered card gets the entire box. We're looking at the left side number of the serial. And in case of a tie, we go to the lowest number, uh, to the next lowest number card. So uh, here's how this is going to go. And then, before I random anything, I'm going to open up the packs and number them. And then we'll do the random. But let's put the list up on the screen. Just so you all can see it. There's everyone in the break. Alright. But before we random anything... I'm going to open the box. There are six packs here. I'm going to just shuffle them around a little bit. All right. We've got six packs. And we're going to number them. So, one, two, three... Four, five, and six. All right, got all the packs numbered there. All right. Now we're going to random the list to see who gets what. We're going to go 12 times in the randomizer. The die has spoken. Randoms on the screen. We're going to random the names. Then we're going to random the packs. And then we're going to match them up to see who gets what. As always... Good luck, everybody. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Isaac. All Thank right. you, Isaac. All right, here we go. All righty. I appreciate nobody making fun of me in the chat, by the way, for the <laughs> for that little hiccup on my end. That was that was funny. All right, money shot twelve. <laughs> I really, I really thought it was a divisional. I'm, I'm glad I bothered to check to read the uh, description. All right, here we go. You know, a wise man once said, play as mess up, you know? Even your Uncle Jesse makes mistakes from time to time. All right, money shot 12. Boom, there it is. So let's sort it by names and let's move this over and there we have it. All right. Please do, Mark, please do, uh, Gasper, please do. It'll, it'll make me feel better, oddly enough. Uh, Brad. <laughs> Brad, you get pack four. Good luck, my dude. Jory, you get packs one and two. One and two right here. Good luck to you. And then Mark gets uh, six, three, and five, which are the last three packs. Six, three, five. So I'm going to start from the bottom up because... Because why not? So, Mark, good luck to you. Jory and Brad, you guys as well. Let's see who gets the entire box here. So, remember, we're looking at the last number on the left side of the cereal. All right, here we go. So, these are all paper cards. All right, autograph for Julio Rodriguez of the Mariners. Uh, this is not numbered, but it's got that uh, that blue parallel there on the on the name. These are inserts. Got a chrome here for Hyunjin Ryu of the Blue Jays. The Davis 
Chrome for the Red Sox. And a Sunny Gray Silver for the Reds, which is not numbered. So, no numbered cards in that pack. Let's move on to pack number three. Got a hubby bias with the blue lettering there. All right, got a Drew Waters Braves autograph on card on that. Very nice. Martinez of the Red Sox silver so still no numbered cards pack six mm, I see Panini points there 150 Panini points which replaces the autograph as you all know. Wow, seriously? No parallels yet? Salvador Perez Chrome. Chris Bryant Chrome. And a Jose Barrios. Blue Jays Refractor. Wow. Not a single numbered card there. Sorry, Mark. All right, moving on to Jory. I'm going to start with pack two. Same here, Tori. Same here. <laughs> yeah, I usually hear that song like in commercials and stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't feel too bad, dude. That's not part of our generation, so. Now, if you told me you didn't know who Tupac was, now we got a problem. We got Miguel Rojas Chrome. A Bregman Chrome. What? No autograph in this pack? Hmm. That is worrisome. There's supposed to be six autographs per box. Well, it is on average. Panini doing Panini things. All right. Uh, Tori, I hope that is you being sarcastic. Still no numbered cards. All right, got an autograph here. For Travis Blankenhorn. And at this rate, whoever hits a single parallel will win the entire box. All right, got a Tatis Jr. Season ticket. Tim Anderson. Contenders, you know, season ticket, a Mitch Hanniger, Refractor. All right, well, this is, uh, looking a little strange right now. Uh, Joey, did I, did I open that for you or did I ship that box to you sealed? Two packs didn't have autographs. Yeah, by the way, did Panini ever get back to you on that? All 
Whoa, Tori. Whoa. Whoa. Those is, uh... Well, I mean, you know, I mean, you're not... You're not wrong. But I think you forget that Biggie was a literal drug dealer. Uh, so it looks like Brad is going to win the entire box with the only parallel in this thing. The number 84 wins. Wow. Well, Brad, I know you've been having a, a tough go of things lately, so yeah, a nice little win for you, dude. Going to win the entire box here. Congrats. Let's see what else is going on here. Ah, another parallel. Oh, okay, so all the parallels were in the last pack, apparently. The number 22. So that is the actual lowest number. The uh, legendary contender, Frank Thomas. So, Joey, yeah, man, keep me in the loop about that. Uh, you know, that contenders box, let me know if they get back to you or not. Like I said in the email, uh, you know, if they don't help you out, let me know and I'll, I'll do something nice for you. All right. I'm a man of my word. So keep me in the loop. All right, my dude. Congrats to Brad. Fair and square. You know, if there was if there wasn't a single numbered card here, then I would have, you know, then I would have done it via random. But the rules are the rules, and lowest number card was this Frank Thomas, the 20, uh, 2299, which wins him the entire box. So we got a Casey Mize auto, Travis Blankenhorn auto, a Drew Waters auto, a Julio Rodriguez auto, and Panini points, uh, 150 to be exact. One pack did not have an autograph, but... You know, good old Panini per box on average. Either way, congrats, Brad, my dude. 